We recovered artifact technology from the wreck of the Ashoka and have run it through our diagnostics. The advanced cooling system the Galcian have been using to endure the deep desert heat is unlike anything Coalition scientists have been able to develop. I found a way to merge their tech with our existing thermal control assembly, allowing us to shunt additional power to weapons and armor while simultaneously increasing our repair abilities and targeting range. We also uncovered the existence of a Gaussian military base at the edge of the Dune Sea. Adjacent to the base is a resourcing operation. Similar to the plan of attack we used against the Ashoka, the Sakala will engage the enemy first, then pull back, drawing as many defenders away as possible. The Kapisi will then move in and shut down their resourcing operation before turning her attention to the base itself. G'day everybody and welcome back to Homeworld Deserts of Karak. has been adapted to my base runner as a ranged device. Designated. Message. Any target caught in the impact zone will be completely disabled, so recharge time is a concern. Coordinates verified. On our way. Ready. Our strategy is working. The Sakala confirms they've drawn away much of the outpost's defenses. We need to work quickly to secure the area. Alright guys, in the previous episode we finally managed to defeat the Ashoka, and in doing so, we recovered another artifact. This time, the artifact in question has enabled the PC to have better heat sinking management systems. And as you can see here, our uh, threshold is a lot higher than before. And in fact, we've got a few additional power points to spend. So let's actually increase our turret network efficiency as well as the range systems, range systems and see active. if that can do us some good in this mission. Now we are approaching the Gaussian excavation site and as you can see there's a large resourcing operation going here similar to the previous episode we want to move in pretty quickly so that Rachel, we ahead. don't let the enemy resource all of these nodes because uh, the longer we leave Runner. them at it, obviously the, the less verified. resources that there will be Runner for us. So let's move in right away. See if set. we can uh, muscle in Selfish on the Gaussian territory here. While we're moving, let's get a Reading little bit of a man. scout on and see if we can identify what sort of units uh, we might be dealing with in this excavation site. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Hostile on sensor. Okay, it looks like a production pending. cruiser over there. Enemy production cruiser has appeared in the AO. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if the sand skimmer is the only thing over there. But uh, let's see if we can send some of our strike, strike fighters dialed in. to take out that Three production cruiser. Engines hot. And perhaps maybe over this side we can send a couple of our bombers. Launch bomber. Bomber online. Ready for launch. A patrol guarding the Gaussian resourcing operation has been alerted to our Very presence. Very nice. Battle sensors indicate this force is heavily armed against both air and ground engagements. Strike craft. EMP charged and ready to go. Time for a field test. Ready. A Gaussian salvager group is falling back to the main complex. Okay, another production cruiser over here. Production cruiser target. Let's try and use our bomber to take it out. Ready. 
Okay, not exactly enough. Let's send in fighter some fighters here as well. Strike systems online. Ready to move. CUs exhausted. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Off ready. Hostile designated. Mark Baron. Greeting. A second group of Gaussian shipbreakers is retreating toward the base. Combat relay. Hostile production right. cruiser eliminated. We got something on okay. the Okay, right. we Wind heard about this excavation patrol group. So let's brace. See if we can try and defend our position here. Now, Rachel has this new ability, the EMP. Let's see if we can use it to our advantage. Very nice. Okay, let's move in. Very good. Support. The remaining Gaussian shipbreakers are falling back to the safety of the base. Support ready. Be advised, an RU site has been exhausted of resources. We've gained a foothold in the excavation site, yet heavy turret emplacements block our advance. Their visibility and firing arc is limited. However, they are equipped with heavy caliber rounds and are well armored. Get racial into the base but make every attempt to outflank them. A direct assault would result in significant casualties. On the move. Those heavy turrets are operated from centralized control towers. Needed. Targeting the control towers with an EMP burst should temporarily disable the turrets. Green line confirmed. Use Rachel's EMP on turret control towers. All right, guys. So we've just heard about these heavy turrets that the Gaussian are using. So let's get Rachel Ready. up in front and we're going to see if we can use her EMP to try and disable them before we move in. Uh, before that happens though, we might actually take a very quick look at some of these uh, new, I guess, structures that we haven't seen before. So this is what the turret control towers look like. Very interesting. And uh, let's take a look at the turrets themselves. Looks like a very chunky looking turret. Be advised. Gaussian signatures detected exiting the main complex. Let's see. Okay. Support ready. Let's get Science Rachel in a little bit closer. Meanwhile, we just want to make sure that our resourcing operation is still going well. I've just parked a support cruiser in alert, this area. Alert. The fleet is taking fire from heavy turret emplacements. Sorry guys, I've just parked the support cruiser in this area so that we can just clear out resources in this section. Uh, looks like Rachel might be taking some fire here. Yeah, okay. Those heavy turrets actually do depleted. have quite a bit of range on them. Uh, let's see if we can EMP fire, the EMP. turret control tower here. Move out. Yes, it worked. Turrets disabled. Be advised, targeting control towers is more effective than targeting individual turrets. Net's dialed in. Okay. Attack or set. So using the EMP on those turrets seem to disable not just the control tower itself, but also all of the turrets uh, nearby as well. Let's see if we can take out the control tower with our fighters and bombers. And uh, hopefully, that'll let us move in Copy with that. relative Bomber safety. Standing by. Copy that. Coordinates confirmed. Sent message. Move order confirmed. Strike craft taking effective fire. Arm ready. We have a target. All right. Uh, as you can see there, it looks like these Combat turrets reload. are also anti-air turrets as well. So we've got to be a little bit careful with the way we use our fighters and bombers. Uh, definitely don't want to move in, uh, move I guess, too far unless we've gotten all of these turrets We're disabled. Moving. I think they are inactive as soon as the turret control centers are taken out. So 
Uh, that's uh, at least a, a good thing there. So we've got a little bit of a strategy the there. Turret. Let's just come back here to our Reporting. resourcing group. Let's move them Check up a little bit more. Now, speaking of resourcing, we've got a few uh, bulkheads here that we can try and open. So let's Place hold charges. Uh, right, organize that right now. Reposition. Rec site secured. We must work quickly to secure the complex. The Sakala's diversionary engagement remains uncertain. Get Rachel inside the outpost immediately so she can begin gathering intelligence. Advise deploying a support cruiser alongside Rachel to repair any damage sustained by turret fire. Alright, uh, easier said than done though, because there's still plenty of these heavy turrets everywhere, so we're going to want to try and, uh, I guess, take things slow and just uh, be methodical about it. Let's get this open. Artifact position locked in. Secure it. Okay, it looks like we've got an artifact in this one. There it is. Let's we grab that. We read you. And uh, let's copies. get the rest of the Identified salvages working on, on resources. Let's move the PC up a little bit more. Just get in position so that we can resource Artifact a little recovered. bit faster. Authentication confirmed. Now, speaking of artifacts, we actually haven't really checked out the artifact Hostile manifest in a very long time, so we may as well actually take a very quick look now. So we've just picked up, um, what is that? Super hardened EMR shielding. Oh, hang on, guys. Enemy Sorry. Firing on Let's just deal with this enemy attack. Very nice. Okay, that's a good combo there with the um, with the smoke screen and the fighters. Go ahead, copy that. Bugging out. Let's just get them all docked once more. Off ready. Roger. Coming back. We read you. Okay, um, and let's continue our resourcing here. As I said before, let's take a look at the artifact manifest. We've just picked up super hardened EMR shielding, and I think that uh, actually increases logistics efficiency so I'm guessing things like uh, you know repair beams and whatnot uh, but we also picked up a few others that we didn't really take a look at um, there's the threshold heatsink here which we picked up from the Ashoka the herself uh, and that was sort of what uh, Rachel was talking about in the uh, introduction to this particular mission so we've got better cooling now uh, we have the anomalous nuclide, uh, better ranged production efficiency, so things like uh, our railguns, and then fusion torch array for our armored vehicles. So I'm guessing that just reduces the cost uh, to actually build those particular units. Let's get our salvages working on more of our um, resource nodes here, and uh, let's move our um, our support cruiser up with the rest of the fleet here. So Rachel is in position on the right hand side. Let's get her dropping another EMP on another of these control towers. As soon as that happens we'll send in our fighters and see if we can take it out that way. Make ready. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Alert, alert. The fleet is taking fire from heavy turret emplacements. All integrity. EMP has taken effect. Enemy turrets offline. All right, very good. Let's see if we have enough fighters to actually take this one out. Very nice, okay. So let's get Rachel moving towards the left hand side this time. And we need to do something similar here to try and get rid of some of these heavy turrets or at least take them offline. Runner, go ahead. Base runner is en route. CU field depleted. The NTL is showing positive materials tracking. We're looking good. 
as usual. Let's just take a look at that artifact manifest again. Yeah, so we've picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be picking up quite a few more throughout the various missions that are uh, in front of us. But uh, yeah, to think the amount of artifacts that the Gaussian would have been working with all these years, and uh, you know, you might be wondering why have they actually occupied the desert instead of, uh, I guess, the same areas that the northern Kivit, uh, Kithid have been uh, living in. Um, we did sort of cover off a little bit more about Kith Sidim in the previous episode, and uh, I figure maybe it might be a good idea to sort of understand Kith Galsian a little bit more in this episode and why they occupy the desert. Um, Kith Sidim as you know from the previous episode, we discussed the Heresy Wars and how they instigated the Heresy Wars. Um, after the Heresy Wars, Kith Galsian became even more zealous in their ways. And uh, them being a uh, religious Kith uh, and believing in their god, Sajuk, they became very estranged from the rest of the Kith of Karak uh, because of their belief in staying on Karak and not leaving the planet. At the same time, the problem of the growing desert was becoming even worse for the people of Karak and most of the Kith of Karak were working together to try and prevent the desert from spreading. However, the Galsian believed otherwise, and because of their belief that their god Sajuk sent the Kushan people to the planet of Karak to suffer, they believed that the spread of the desert was important, uh, and that we shouldn't be preventing the spread of the desert. Because of this clash, they ended up destroying by. vital We're pieces moving. of technology that the northern Kithid were working with to try and prevent Reporting. the spread of the desert. New coordinates verified. And because of these acts of terrorism by the Galsian Kith, they were eventually banished by the Diomid. Hence, their occupation of the Belladune Dune the Sea, or the Great Bandit Desert. Combat relay. Hostile cruiser eliminated. Support ready. Alright, now, since we've got Rachel on this side, we might continue uh, using the EMP on Long turrets EMP. and Radio. control towers on this side first. Uh, we probably still need Rachel to help out on the right hand side as well. We've got another set of turrets on this side, but uh, we'll work on this side first though. Okay, time to send our fighters out Strike once more. Coordinates dialed in. Enemy turret systems offline. Punch it! Okay, we'll let the fighters do their things here. Let's uh, get out. Rachel moving towards the right hand side once more. And we'll just quickly watch and make sure that this control tower definitely goes down. Contact, enemy armor, bearing designated. We've detected something. Can you confirm visual? Unknown inbound, designating hot Very good, all right. So we should be pretty clear to move up on this position. Battle report, enemy cruiser destroyed. Runner, roger that. Only thing that I'm really worried about is a uh, Gaussian push into this area. Uh, and, you know, they can, uh, I suppose, Reporting. reinforce these positions if they wanted to. Let's actually send a scout out on top of the ridge here and see if we can identify what's going on in this area. I can definitely see a few more heavy turrets here. So Rachel is going to have to try and do something about that. 
Alert. The fleet is taking fire from heavy turret emplacements. Okay. Didn't really see any Gaussian units moving around though, so um, I guess that's a good sign. Let's check on our resourcing here. Okay, We're nothing ready. happening. Let's actually get Mobile our line. salvagers moving towards Salvager the next copies. set of bulks. Move out. Or sorry, the, the next set of wrecks here and see if we can get them opened. So um, let's actually Salvager copies. get our uh, explosive charges, charges. queued up here. Up. Time's okay, good stuff. Now, while we wait, guys, uh, we may as well, you know, quickly take a look around and admire these wrecks. Um, and once again, like the wreck of the Kalash, we are looking at potentially uh, what appears to be a massive starship once more. This one definitely has a slightly different shape, and judging by... Uh, how the wreck appears, it definitely looks like the Gaussian have been salvaging the uh, these wrecks quite heavily and hence they've got I guess better technology based on those uh, artifacts that they've been picking up in the general area. Okay, I think all of our explosive charges are in position here. Let's get both of these wrecks opened. Energy signature confirmed. An artifact has been discovered. Okay, we've got another artifact. Let's ready for see if we can grab we that. Read you. Salvage your copy. Everyone else can start working on CEO. salvaging. We read you. Identified RU site on scanner. Conducting sweep. Displaced to that CU field. Artifact recovered. Authentication Reading. confirmed. Okay, let's move Moving the PC up. up a little bit further. See if we can uh, assist with ready for some of the uh, resourcing here. Let's get the salvager moving towards the Capici, actually. All right. Um, let's See check in on exhausted. Rachel. Move out. And we've got yet another set of um, turrets on this side, as I said. So let's Target EMP. get Reading the EMP in. on and uh, see if we can get our Attack. fighters Strike taking fighter this tower out. In. Attack or set. Runner, copy that. Coordinates confirmed. Okay, let's bring Enemy Rachel back to the left-hand side and uh, we'll prepare her to try and take out this control tower next. But, uh, let's just make sure that this control tower goes down. Beautiful. Alright. Let's send our fleet in there and uh, see if we can just clear this area. Uh, and uh, they'll essentially hold position in that uh, section or in that area uh, waiting for a little bit of a pincer attack if we can on the Gaussian outpost. Now meanwhile with our Set fleet message. on the Roger west side confirmed. we'll actually move in a little bit more Operation see if we update. can Are clear out these turrets range. here. Now while we're waiting guys uh, we'll actually also take a very we'll quick look at this turret. Uh, Gaussian base. It's a lot of interesting structures and uh, it's very telling uh, that you know these structures are a little bit different and um, different style in comparison to the structures that we see in the um, I guess northern Kithid occupied uh, areas of Karak. Uh, definitely a lot of red colors and red uh, illumination. I'm not entirely sure if that has something to do with uh, the way the Gaussian sort of uh, view things or perhaps maybe some of the, the masks that they wear. Um, I don't know if you guys um, you know, were paying attention to the, the mask that Kagan was wearing in the previous episode which she uh, eventually took off before the Ashoka went down. But, uh, I'm guessing their masks are, uh, I guess, key to their survival out here in the desert. Sort of reminds me a little bit about the um, the Fremen from the Dune series, if you're familiar with that. Reporting. New coordinates verified. Okay, quite a large 
Gaussian force over here. I'm a little bit intimidated. They do have missile ships in there as well, so we can't exactly use our bombers to try and take them out. Yeah, let's see if we can launch a um, an EMP here. Launch EMP. EMP. Enemy armor. Stable. Ready. Set. Bomber to launch deck. Bomber on deck. Set to launch. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Very nice. Attack okay. vector dialed in. We're in the fight. Standing by. CU field expended. Strike copy. Okay, support cruisers Ready. taking quite a bit of damage there. Let's actually get Rachel's repair speed upgraded. See if she can assist with uh, getting the support cruiser repaired there. Research completed. All right, that is very nice. Gaussian aircraft inbound. Confirmed. Okay, Gaussian airstrike. Enemy airstrike Ready. inbound. Copy. Hostiles designator. Trackers assigned. We should be okay with the support cruiser around because the support cruiser has some anti-air. So I think that's not really going to be too much of a problem. Okay. You can see some Gaussian aircraft around this side. Getting a little bit nervous, guys. I might actually send the base runner back. See if we can place maybe one or two AA turrets. We need a turret. Just to protect our um, resourcing operation on this side. Advance to mark CUs. Support ready. Meanwhile, Base let's get a little route. bit closer to the Gaussian outpost from the east. Got a base runner here ready. as well. We'll start actually placing down some turret. turrets here. See if we can use those turrets to try and um, give us a little bit of an advantage if the Gaussian decide to push out. Receiving. Okay, let's get a little bit closer here. Launch. Not too close though. We've still got some turrets on this side. Uh, let's this get Rachel, Rachel ahead. moving ahead. ahead and seeing if we can take out this control tower. Target EMP. Brenner copies. We're moving. Make ready. EMP strike confirmed. Enemy turrets offline. All right. Strike very good. Online. So that ready should be the last control tower within the outpost itself. So hopefully we can shut these turrets down. Uh, we were looking at those structures before, weren't we? So let's just continue to admire some of these structures while the uh, bombardment is going on. Because, um, yeah, they do kind of look very, very cool and actually quite detailed. So, um, very nice indeed. I mean, the Gaussian are definitely technologically advanced thanks to all of the artifacts that they've been finding so um, you know it's not like uh, they're behind us in any way shape or form in fact they might be more advanced than us uh, in some regard all right anyway enough admiration let's actually move in and see if we can get Rachel into the Gaussian outpost I have a feeling there is a large Gaussian force sitting somewhere here, so let's actually do a little bit of a scout. Standing by. See if we can identify what's going on in there. This is Rachel, go ahead. Um, sorry guys, uh, runner. forgot that we left our base runner over here. Let's actually send him back, and we'll actually send a probe out from it. his position there. Um, Let's just quickly check on our forces here, make sure every fleet has all of the units Ready, that we set. need. I think we're missing an LAV for the fleet on the right. Um, Reading. Contact. Enemy armor. Got enough Bearing armor. Designated. Looking good. Be oh my lord. Okay. Yep. Exiting the main We've complex. got quite a large group Hostile over here, so uh, we're going to have to be a little bit careful before we move in. Um, Strike copies. Armor, go ahead. Hostile light attack vehicle detected. Okay, let's send our spare LAV Green out towards confirmed. the right. Reporting. Fire EMP. Alert. Rachel is in contact. 
strike craft taking effective fire. Okay, very good. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Green line confirmed. Engine pump. Hostile armor eliminated. Confirmed. Order! Strike craft destroyed. Operations update. Our use in the region have been drained. Ready. Moving through contact. Science officer en route. All right. Good stuff. Just Receiving. quickly check on the right as well. Reporting. Let's place another Deploy turret here. Set new heading. Ready. Control group three designated. All right, we're almost ready to move into this position, but uh, just going to be a bit careful here. We'll use Rachel's EMP, see if we can disable quite a few of these, uh, I guess, assault ships and whatnot, particularly the missile ships, because I'm going to try and send our bombers and fighters in, try and take them out before we even move into the position. Okay, very good. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Attack vector dialed in. We're in the fight. Op ready. Receiving. Okay, Rachel's taking a little bit of damage there, but I think she can tank a little bit for us. Get out of here. Move. Receiving. Engage. Enemy armor disabled. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Ready. Warning. Rachel's hull is at 75%. Target locked. Move confirmed. All right. Let's get everyone Runners, in there. Ahead. Get a turret up. Make sure it's combat ready. Ready. This place is fire at will. We got a railgun under fire. Go ahead. Target on the board. Cruiser ready. Maintenance protocols in effect. All out. Put counter fire on. Ready. We're taking out an enemy turret. All right. Good stuff. Now, all that's left to do is get Rachel into the Gaussian outpost. looky here we have found a Gaussian honor guard cruiser in the hangar of this Gaussian base and look at this bloody awesome you looking vehicle <laughs> uh, I am in love <laughs> but uh, yeah we're gonna have to get this repaired before we can actually use it so Ready let's actually do that uh, it Definitely seems like we've still got visual. enemy presence in this area. Support now let's get our Move base runner confirmed. moving is under fire. out of harm's way. Alert. Support craft has been engaged. Fire post three. In contact. Alert. The turret post just went down. Punch in. Strike craft taking effective fire. Ready. Reading. Fire. Keep moving. Hostile 
Southbound strike Charter craft down. Dialed in. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Order. White fire support. Roger. The railgun is taking effective fire. Be gone. Runner. CU site exhausted. Boy turret on that location. Runner, go ahead. Reading you. Hostile range craft destroyed. Enemy the Galaxian have exposed their fuel source and it's off the charts. It's only a matter of time before it blows. Base runner. Rachel, you and your team need to evacuate. Now. With the amount of data they've collected, they may know what the primary anomaly is. Exhausted. Rachel, it's not worth it. Get your team out of there. I can do this. Just be ready for me when I'm done. Copy, Sakala. Go ahead. The Galaxy fleet. Dish are headed for your position. We are up. We lost transmission, Captain. Okay, looks like a major Galaxian fleet is incoming. The Galaxian forces have split into two groups and are advancing towards the main complex perimeter. They are forming a blockade around the facility to prevent our escape from the blast. Clear a path through the blockade for Rachel to escape. The captured Honor Guard cruiser is equipped with a manually targeted railgun. Use it to break the blockade. Get a turret up. Make sure it's combat ready. Okay, so it seems like Runner, the base ahead. is rigged to blow place. in about a couple We're of minutes here. And the Gaussian fleet there's a couple of uh, fleets here actually, the armoured forces and the ranged forces are trying to box us in and uh, prevent us from actually leaving the outpost, trying to catch us within the blast radius. So we're going to have to try and break free here. Let's send our fighters and bombers on to the right hand side here. Okay, let's actually pull our forces back a little bit. We'll see if we can use the Honor Guard cruiser to do a little bit of damage. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Lost our base runner there, unfortunately. Wasn't careful enough. Okay, Rachel's done. Evacuate the main complex. Say again, the fleet must clear the main complex. Coordinates confirmed. Go ahead, turret is under fire. Ready. New coordinates verified. Okay, now that Rachel is out, we need to make a dash for it. We've got less than a minute. Let's go. Support ready. We're moving. Hostile armor ready. eliminate. Focus the repair on primary system. Alert. Rachel is under fire. Alert. Rachel is at 75% hull integrity. Launch smoke. Let's use our smokes here, see if we can give our forces some Deployed cover. Hopefully that'll let us escape. Oh, this is going to be close, guys. Ready. Reposition. Reposition. L. Rachel. Yes, I read you. That was close. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Kupisi. The Galcian. Ghosts of the desert. We learn more about our enemy with each passing day. Rachel says they believe in a terrible place where their god, Sajuk, placed his people as punishment for their sins. They refer to it as Kartoba, or First City. 
They believe their spiritual and military leader, the Kahad Sajuk, will become the instrument of God's will and ascend to rule over all of Karak once he enters the temple of Kartoba. Is there a kernel of truth hidden amongst these myths? And if so, what is it? Alright, that was a little bit sweaty guys, not gonna lie. But we did manage to get into the Gaussian outpost and retrieve some much needed research. Now, we luckily didn't really lose too many of our units in this particular mission, so I would say that we're going into the next mission with a full complement, or uh, I guess a, a full fleet, which is a really, really good thing. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.